Ashley, joint pain can really affect someone's day-to-day -day life, but don't let joint pain get you bent out of shape. Many cures involve surgical procedures, but there are non-surgical options. Here today to talk about a non-operative procedure for patients to get their mobility back is Dr. David Gutierrez, a pain physiatrist at Charlotte Hungerford Hospital. Doctor, welcome. Hi, thank you for having me. So what is physiatry, I've never even heard of it, and physical medicine and rehabilitation? Sure, sure. So physiatry or physical medicine and rehabilitation is a subspecialty of medicine that aims to enhance and restore functional ability to patients with physical impairments or disabilities that can infect, excuse me, can affect the uh, peripheral or central nervous system or even the musculoskeletal system in terms of bones, joints, ligaments, muscle tendons, that sort of thing. Uh, physiatrists can specialize in uh, sports medicine, pain management, pediatrics, spinal cord injury, or TBI. And in general, a physiatrist or physician who specializes in physical medicine and rehabilitation is an expert at designing comprehensive patient-centered treatments while using cutting-edge technology as well as sort of time-tested treatments to maximize function. Great. All right, tell us about radiofrequency ablation and how it's used to help treat joint and back pain. Sure. So radiofrequency ablation is a uh, non-surgical procedure that can be used to treat chronic spine and joint pain. Uh, it involves treating the nerves that sense chronic pain in these areas uh, under the guidance of fluoroscopy or an x-ray. Typically, patients will undergo a diagnostic block to make sure that they're a candidate for these procedures. Um, and once they are, the uh, radiofrequency ablation electrodes are kind of applied uh, to the affected area through a small cannula. Uh, oftentimes, this procedure can be done under local anesthesia, and it's certainly an ambulatory procedure, meaning patients walk in and walk out on the same day. Is RFA a permanent solution for people with joint pain? So that's a great question. While radiofrequency ablation can certainly help patients decrease their pain and improve function for an extended period of time, uh, this pain relief can fade. Uh, in these cases, radiofrequency ablation can be reapplied uh, and can actually be repeated every six months to every few years or so, depending on the patient's outcome. I think it's important to note that a radiofrequency ablation does not preclude a patient from undergoing uh, a traditional joint reconstruction or spinal decompressive surgery. So this can actually be a great option for patients who are not yet ready for these other treatments or are not necessarily a good candidate uh, due to medical comorbidities or other risk factors. Doctor, can you tell us in 10 seconds how it's impacted the quality of life in some of your patients? You got it. 10 seconds in many of our patients, we definitely see extended pain relief and getting them back to things that they love doing. Uh, and I'm happy to provide this treatment for my patients, whether it's for chronic back pain, neck pain, or joint-related pain. All right. Thank you, doctor. We'll be right back. Thank you.